Home favorites Tan Chen Men and Tse Ying Sut came up short at the Hong Kong Open final this afternoon. The mixed doubles pairing could not find a way past their mainland rivals, losing in straight games. Janice Lowe reports. Tang Chen Men and Tse Ying Sut received a raucous welcome as they appeared at the Hong Kong Open final for the first time. The long-time mixed doubles pairing were eyeing their first title since 2019. But first, they needed to get past China's Guo Xinhua and Wei Yaxin. The home favorites were off to a bad start, with Tang accidentally smashing into Tse's racket on the first rally of the match. The early jitters didn't last, however, as they slowly regained their composure and Tang relied on his aggressive smashes to go back in front. But Guo and Wei played the long game. They patiently waited for their opponents to make mistakes to score easy points. The mainland will root off seven straight points at one stage. A deficit too big for Tang and Zhe to erase as they dropped the opening game 13-21. But the Hong Kong pair were no strangers to adversity, having advanced in three previous rounds with comeback wins. Their better chemistry proved to be especially valuable in moments like this. Both sides were neck and neck throughout game two, as they exchanged leads multiple times and no team led by more than two points. It was still a dead heat approaching the halfway point, and in the end, the rally was decided by luck. Following a tie at 15 all, Guo and Wei pulled away for a 2017 lead. With three match points to fan off, Tang and Zhe pulled up all the stops. With their backs against the wall, the Hong Kong players somehow performed at their best. They got the crowd on their feet after cutting the deficit to 19-20. Just when everyone was hoping for a tie break, Tang hit it long to end their title dreams. Tang and Zhe's podium finish was still their best ever result at the Hong Kong Coliseum. The pair now head into the Asian Games in Hangzhou with the hope of improving on the silver medals they earned in Jakarta five years ago. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.